Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. When programming, you may want to loop or repeat a set of instructions for your bot to follow. To explore using the loops blocks in OzoBlockly, you will program your bot to move in different patterns. For today's lesson, you will need an OzoBot, fully charged and calibrated, and the OzoBlockly editor. Today, we'll be working in level two. In today's lesson, you will define a loop as it applies to computer science, build a block-based code using loops to program your bot to move in different patterns, and explain how a loop changes the sequence of a code. Patterns are sequences that repeat. You can make patterns using shapes, colors, numbers, sounds, and actions. Today, you will program Ozobot to move in a repeated sequence or pattern using a loop. A loop in computer science is a block that programs a sequence of instructions to repeat. You'll explore two different types of loops, count controlled and forever. A count controlled loop repeats the same steps a specific number of times. A forever loop repeats the same steps endlessly. Here is an example of a count controlled loop. The sequence move forward, then spin left would run two times. Here is another count controlled loop. The sequence move forward, then spin left would run four times. Count controlled loops have numbers to tell a sequence exactly how many times to run. Here is an example of a forever loop. The sequence move forward, then spin left, would run over and over again without end. Now let's think about loops or sequences that repeat in real life. Examples of count controlled loops are a phone ringing X number of times before it goes to voicemail, jumping rope X number of times, or going to school five days a week. Examples of forever loops are 24 hours in the day, breathing, and the earth rotating around the sun. Let's get started. Before you can explore with loops, you'll need to build a sequence or a set order of instructions for your bot to follow. Open up OzoBlockly and click on level two. You will program your bot to display the color orange, skate forward, display the color blue, and then turn left. First, you will program your bot to change its LED light to the color orange. Go to the light effects category in the block panel. Do you see a block that will tell the bot to show a set color? Click and drag the set top light color block onto the workspace. Then click on the red box to choose the new color, orange. Next, you will program the bot to skate forward. Go to the movement category. Do you see a block that will tell the bot to skate? Click and drag the skate medium forward block onto the workspace and stack it below the set top light color block. Now you will program the bot to change its LED light to the color blue. Do you remember what block category controls the LED lights on your bot? That's right. Go back to the light effects category. Click and drag the set top light color block onto your workspace and stack it below the skate block. Then click on the red block and choose the new color, blue. Finally, you will program your bot to turn left. Which block category do you think you need to go to? You will need to go to the movement category. Click and drag the rotate slight left block onto your workspace and stack it below the set top light color block. Then use the drop down menu to change the block to rotate left. Can you build the sequence of code? When you are done building the code, you should always test it to see if the programmed instructions are correct. Turn on your bot and connect it to OzoBlockly by clicking on the Evo icon.
Once your bot is paired with your device, the Evo icon will turn green. Then click Run Program. Watch your bot as it shows the set sequence or actions in order. First, your bot should display an orange LED light. Next, your bot should skate forward. Then your bot should display a blue LED light. Finally, your bot should turn left. Let's run the program. Can you test your program by clicking Run Program? Watch your bot to check that it completes all four steps in the correct sequence or order. Now you will use a loop block to program your bot to repeat the sequence and skate in the shape of a square. Go to the Loops category. Click and drag the count controlled loop onto the workspace and stack it above the set top light color orange block. Notice the loop block wraps around all four blocks in your sequence. Before the loop block was added, your bot skated forward and turned left one time. In order for your bot to move in the shape of a square, think about how many times the bot needs to repeat the sequence. Move forward, turn left. Since a square has four sides and four angles, the bot will need to skate forward and turn left four times. Click the arrow in the loop block to get to the drop down menu. Then change the count from two to four. After the count control loop has been added around your sequence and the number has been changed to four, you will run your program again. Your bot should complete the sequence four times, demonstrating a pattern. Let's run the program. Can you test out your program by clicking Run Program? Watch your bot to check that it repeats the sequence four times to move in the shape of a square. Let's make some changes to the color code blocks to program your bot to repeat a sequence and skate in the shape of an octagon. You will change the colors of the LED lights, the angle your block turns, and the number of times your bot completes the sequence. First, click on the orange box and choose a new color, yellow. Next, click on the blue box and choose a new color, purple. Then click the arrow in the rotate block to get the drop down menu and change the direction from left to slight left. Now click the arrow in the loop block to get the drop down menu and change the count from four to eight. After you have changed the colors of the light, the rotate block, and the count controlled loop, you will run the new program. Your bot should complete the sequence eight times demonstrating a new pattern. Let's run the program. Can you change the color of the lights, the rotate block, and the count controlled loop to make a new program? Then click Run Program. Watch your bot to check that it repeats the new sequence eight times to move in the shape of an octagon. Time to explore the forever loop. You will program your bot to skate forward, spin left, skate backward, and spin right over and over again. First, delete your code. Click on the loop block and drag the entire sequence into the category panel. Next, go to the movement category. Click and drag the skate medium forward block into the workspace. Then go back to movement. Click and drag the spin left block onto the workspace and stack it below the skate block. Next, go back to movement. Click and drag the skate medium forward block onto the workspace and stack it below the spin left block. Click the second arrow in the skate block to get the drop down menu and change the direction from forward to backward. Finally, go back to movement. 
Click and drag the spin left block onto the workspace and stack it below the skate block. Click the arrow in the spin block to get the drop down menu and change the direction from left to right. Can you build the sequence of code? After you are done building your sequence of code, you will add a forever loop. Go to the loops category. Click and drag the forever loop onto the workspace and stack it above the skate medium forward block. Now to test if the programmed instructions are correct, click run program. Watch your bot as it shows the set sequence or actions in order. First, your bot should skate forward and then spin left. Next, your bot should skate backward, and finally spin right. Your bot will complete this sequence over and over again. Since the program will run forever and not stop on its own, you must click Stop Program. Can you add a forever loop and test your program by clicking Run Program? Watch your bot to check that it completes all four steps in the correct sequence or order without stopping itself. Great work exploring loops. Let's check your work. Did you program your bot using a loop to skate in the shape of a square? Did you program your bot using a loop to skate in the shape of an octagon? Did you program your bot to skate and spin forever? Can you explain what a loop block does to a sequence of code? If you're looking for more to do, you can show a loop using a sequence of actions. These actions can include jumping, clapping your hands, stomping your feet, or spinning around. Or you can build your own sequence of code for your bot to follow and program the sequence to repeat. Come back again soon for our next lesson.